Alright guys, what is up? It is your boy Will back with another video today and in this video I'll be talking about the two short squeeze stocks that we have been playing and we'll go over the first one which is Arkimoto ticker symbol FUV and then the second one you have to wait to see just watch the video okay now we did a big move on Arkimoto on uh, I forgot what day it was Thursday or Friday okay and this is the reason why we did that okay it was to put some safety between us for this earnings so thank god we did that because this stock dropped hard on earnings okay so i'm happy we did that we lowered our risk because again this was all a short squeeze play but i knew earnings might upset the stock okay so we'll go over everything and all new levels i'm watching i have i won't sell well i'll go over how we doing it okay so make sure you smash the like button subscribe turn on post notifications so you don't miss the updates i do post every day around 5 p.m central time so you do not miss a video now with archimoto ticker simple fuv stock okay we have held this stock i think i bought uh like around 14 somewhere in this area is when we bought and then we were up right should have took profits up here okay but i was hell set on trying to get uh over 22 right so that's a little my fault but i knew earnings was coming up okay and since since this was a pure short squeeze play i did not want to hold a full position so we sold half okay we sold half of archimoto stock it was i can't remember what day either friday one of these two days okay we sold half of the position okay i did not want to hold that much going into the earnings so when i sold half whatever earnings did it was okay right because i didn't put that much money in the stock anyway it is a short squeeze play i always tell you guys to watch your risk management okay for stuff just like this so we sold half which i'm happy about we did good and then look at the stock drop probably like over 20 percent after hours now something that i'm playing now okay so all these levels are done let's see this level this level is around the last defense level it held up today if you can see see kind of held up right there held up right there and then earnings just murdered it right so let me go back out okay so since we already sold half the way i'll be playing this stock is on the past earnings if you go check it the past two earnings it drops and then it recovers about 20 percent okay so it drops like it's doing right now it'll make a low probably early in the day probably within the first hour or probably make a low and if it does make that low, then I'm expecting at least a 20% return this week going higher. Okay. So that's what I'm expecting. And that's how I'm willing to play it. Okay. So the level that I'm looking at. Okay. So it's about 12. So it's already recovering after hours. If we drop down to the one minute, the low is about 1120 and it's already back up to about 12. So like I said, I am expecting that low um, within the first hour or so. And then once we get that low, I'm expecting about a 20% recovery, which is why I'm glad we still have, because now I can put that back in to get a nice uh, percentage gain. Okay. So it's around $12 right now. And the level that I was actually kind of looking for was around 12, like 1220 to average it in around 1220. I'll be looking at for that buying. Okay. And I'm expecting at least a 20% return. 20% gain the last the the last earnings was like 20% and then the last one was like 25% so looking for about a 20% which has take us up to around $15 okay so that's what I'm kind of looking at right now for Arcimoto again it all depends on what it does tomorrow if it starts to make that low within that first hour then I think that'll be a good sign that it's start that it's going to want to start doing that recovery to at least about a 20% run up so around this 14 to 15 range is what I'm kind of expecting okay seems like it's already going there i kind of wanted to wait i kind of want to do it do this tomorrow okay so i kind of wanted to wait a little bit i wanted to recover tomorrow but that's how i'll be playing it so around 12 20 i'll actually be looking to put that 50 percent back in right here okay which is very good i'm clapping my hands i'm glad we sold half for that and then we could put it back in at this level again it all depends if it makes that um low within that first hour so i will be watching it and if i see anything confirmed then I will go ahead and send that signal out to enter here and we'll be looking to exit in that area below 15 above 14 okay so in that range I think that's a good recovery state for it okay so that's for Archimoto the second one is workhorse okay 
I mean, not workhorse, uh, Skyworks. Ticker symbol W O R X. Okay. Ticker symbol W O R X. Now, we have a resistance level up here around $3.50. I will actually leave this here. Okay. I'm going to leave that up here because they still have not released their earnings. So I actually want to see. It says the earnings is on the 16th which is today, which is supposed to be um, like after market. So I really don't know what they're doing with their earnings, but again, we'll have to wait and see. But once I get that confirmation, depending on their past earnings and how their patterns have looked, I might sell half again, or I might actually add half. Okay, so I might add more, I might sell more, but that all depend on when they will announce their earnings. Okay, so I am waiting for that. But for now, I'm looking for resistance around $3.50 first. This level uh, around $2.95 was a resistance level and this buying level around $2.75 was a, a buying level. So we'll leave that level here. Let's go down, see how these two levels worked, right? Again, gave these levels beforehand. So from that entry to exit was about 7%. It actually, I think it went about 10%. Yeah, so it did do about 10% in that day. So if you guys got in on the buying level, Congratulations to you guys, but like I said, I really was on the market today because I was at the but I was at the vet with my puppy this morning. So had a buying pressure. Okay, traded sideways. Really wouldn't have entered here. Okay, so it really didn't show any clear entries. If you just would have bought here, it just would have been a gamble, right? Because I always tell you guys. Oh, actually, hold up. Oh yeah, it did show buying pressure. Came down. Oh yeah, so you would have entered here, and then you would have had that nice scout play, right? Resistance right here, resisted. Came back to support, support, finally broke it, came back up, resistance, right? So all these levels have really done their job. And I always, I teach you guys how to enter off these buying levels on the stock market options crash course, okay? So make sure you use Will 50 off. You'll get $50 off the stock market options crash course. So make sure you check that out. Now, let's go back to the 90 day, 30 minutes. So every candlestick is 30 minutes. And the levels that I'm looking at now, this is the last buying level that I'm looking at. Okay, the last buying level I'm looking at. $2.65. If I don't start to see buying pressure around this area, then I will go ahead and cancel the trade and I'll go ahead and move on to the next stock, right? That's why there's thousands of stocks. I try not to be in looking at one stock too long unless it's like a long-term type of hold, okay? So around $2.65. If it does drop, which looks like it's dropped in after hours, it's dropped around 10 cents. I'll be looking around this level to actually buy some shares at and then my exit will still be around that 350, okay, $3.50. So still looking at a profit potential over 30%, okay? So this one is still kind of working. Again, it'll, I'll see if there's buying pressure right there. If there is, we'll probably buy more there. And again, I'll probably see what earnings is gonna do and when they're gonna announce that, because I might sell off 50% like uh, Archimoto, which I'm glad we did, or I might actually add more money to it just depending on the earnings, okay? So make sure you stay in tune for that. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Always remember, not a recommendation to buy or sell anything. This is for education purposes only. So do not trade anything you see or hear in the video. And I'll catch you guys in the next one.